Yes. All right. So there's a story that caught our attention um, about begging. Yeah. Um, Toko, would you like to do establish the story? Yes. Yeah, so a uh, popular actor. Yes. Um, his name is Chidi. We know him as the Aki Amapo, <laughs> but really, I wanted to get his name, Ositame. Osita um, Chinedu. Chinedu. Yes. So he came on social media to, he did a video to address a lot of his, what, what he said his um, DM has turned into a, an ATM. Like, it's a request that when he opens his DM, it's a constant, that it, it's not, a, it's not, it's not bank of industry. It's a constant <laughs> request all the time. That if, how do they think he's making the money? Where do they think he's getting money from? Somebody was asking him for thirty-five thousand dollars. Another person was asking, as like a huge, a lot of people were asking for a huge amount of money, ridiculous amount of money, and he said, "It is wrong. We need to stop this." And that's our discussion because we also are on the receiving end. <laughs> All right, so, the amount, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so, so the amount of yeah, the outrageous $35,000, which is about 27 million naira, and that was asking for $12,000, wants me to open the shop, you know. So now there are two things. People see celebrities who are spending money, stupendous money on social media, buying Versace, buying all these big Maybe brands, traveling up and down, they're living in the nice luxurious hotels, you know, going for ex exotic vacations. And they're saying, ah, okay, give me some of that money now. I need to start business. I need to pay school fees. I need to do something. So that is there. Now, would you blame them for with making a request to them? Because sometimes they've been lucky. You send that kind of request to a celebrity and it's in a good mood. He takes, I send your account number. We see it all the time. Celebrities say account number, they send you $10,000 or 1000 naira. You know, mm -hmm. that money comes in handy. So it's a, it's a, it's a try or luck thing where I mm -hmm. send a request to you because you're hoping that they might be in a good mood and they sell. You, just got, you never know, you might be talking, you might be reaching celebrity when the pastor just told you, give to the first 10 people that call to you. Mm. And you, you make it. However, there are some people, however, who are just regular folks or who are just like you and I, yes. earning salary. People see us on social media and suddenly we are, they are, are, we are blown. And they, they, are, they are requesting us to support them. But it happens all the time. And that's the conversation because when I said it, we need to discuss the spirit of begging. Because some you beg and you say, so sorry, I don't have it. But they insist that ah, you should have it now. Ah, what do you look at your hair? A whole you? No, 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 please. I'm only asking for 100,000 naira. I'm sure you have it. So there are some people that kind of go overboard, insist on it. So that's the conversation we're having today. BC, let me come to you. I like how you captured the whole thing, saying that um, it could be trial luck. Yeah. You know, and it's happened to a lot of us, especially on this table. There are sometimes you get this request and your spirit moves you. Like mm. I've paid people school fees. Yeah. I don't know them before. They just, they used to catch me with education. <laughs> what is education like this? I'm yeah. melting. I'm like... And, you know, I just sent, my spirit just said, send it. Mm. I didn't even ask. The lady was like, she sent me her house address. She sent me her school. She sent me letters to show that she was genuine. She really needed the help. But I, I sent it before I even saw some of those things because I worked with my spirit. But the most annoying part for me is the one that somebody will say, they've not chatted you before. They don't know you from anywhere. They'll just drop, hi. Yes. I need money for so, so, and so, and so, and so, and so. God bless you and put account details. And I'm wondering, <laughs> did I even ask for your account details? Where do you want me to get this money? I don't even respond to such messages. And I feel it's, um, people should learn some soft skills yeah. in approaching people. And I understand that Nigeria is hard, right? Uh, sometimes I wonder, don't they have family members? They may also not have family members that are able to help them out, okay? But even if that's begging, there's an approach you use. You, you don't say hi and just start making requests. You introduce yourself if the person has the time to read all of those. Because some people might actually, like you said, pastor has said, or oh, yeah, give 10 people that reach out to you, or you're in the mood to give. Mm. A lot of people yeah. uh, believe that when they give, they receive more. Right. So as they're doing work, uh, like every month, I put a side of my budget for help. I call it a charity, right? It's part of my monthly allowance. I just draft so-so and so amount. So sometimes people get lucky and I'm able to give from there. But when I finish that quota, I finished it and there's nothing I can do for you. But if you learn how to approach properly, even if the person says, I'm, I don't have, I'm not giving or does not reply, you don't take it like all these people. They will come on social media and be flaunted. Somebody told me, but you say you get money now. I was not looking for where I had a conversation with her that I had money. So people need to, uh, I won't say don't beg because it's, it's a part of our culture. 
But I don't ask. You can ask. Uh, not beg. Us ask. Begging and asking is different. Uh, it's the same thing. No. Begging is I'm begging you. I'm constantly I'm, you're, you're, you're being no, a I bit block more you. If, safe. You, if you disturb me too much, I'll block you. Be, uh, asking is begging. Because you don't know me. We don't have a relationship. Right. So if I come to you, Moriah, and say, please, I need um, so, so, and so. I ask you. I'm not begging you. Because we have a relationship. But somebody who doesn't know me will just make a I'm request. That's begging now. I don't okay. know. Okay, Maybe let me come to you. I agree. Ram, your thoughts. Have you experienced this? And what are your thoughts uh -huh. on this? Uh, corporate <laughs> begging matters that we see. I mean, yeah, this guy said they've turned his... Um, he said, he said, I'm a to Bank of Industry. Mm. Because they... It's so funny. Um, I think really now it's about the begging that we're talking about, not about the giving. You know, because we give as the Lord um, leads. I really don't like to talk about giving. Mm. But the begging, um, especially on social media, can come across as a bit uh, entitled, mm. insensitive sometimes, and sometimes you can get some rude comments. At first, I think it was a Lagos problem, but I've been told that it's everywhere. Because I would never forget. Who is blaming Lagos for everything? I would tell you because I have to experience, <laughs> and I experience some new things, culture shock, you know. So I will never forget one time someone stopped me and asked for, followed me. I, I stopped at a fast food place, mm. followed me in there. I was a bit uncomfortable. I saw the person hovering about. I got out, got back into the car, and then the person approached me and said, "Please, could you give me?" And I had the change I had on. I gave it to him. He said. Only this, I have never heard it in my life. <laughs> I thought, oh, ask you for something and you give them what you have. Okay, and it was my last change, oh. I just handed over. Only this one, ah, you are more than this. I was in shock. I was telling everybody, this Lagos, this is how they do it. <laughs> it's everywhere. It's everywhere now. The thing has spread, you know, because it's a sign of lack of up proper upbringing. You don't have, it's, it's a... It, it, it just shows that people are not being brought up properly. Right. Begging is not, it's not a virtue. I have to say, it. that's the truth. It's not a virtue. We have to learn some sort of contentment. I'm not saying that life is not hard. But also, I've noticed that the people that constantly beg, that, that beg are usually people that are begging from place to place. People that are begging from, um, you know, to, to, mm. to, to, to have a lifestyle, you know, begging for a lifestyle. Mm. And I don't think that that's the right way to go about life. Okay. Try and do your work, you know, mm. put in the best that you can. Whatever God has given you at that time, do the best that you can. If you're desperate, desperate, um, that's where we talk about government and all the philanthropic causes. There are places like that right. that you can reach out. And then giving, you should allow the person to come from their place so to reach out. To all this philanthropy. Let me take Lucinda, come back to you. Good morning, Lucinda. Thanks for calling. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello? Yes, you're live. Yeah, I'm, the first, I'm a first-time caller. Welcome, Welcome to, the, to show. the show. Thank you. I'd like to make a point. Um, during, during the tumultuous times, when uh, the, uh, during the tumultuous times, when there was no, um, no money to use, our relatives had to use so I reached out to many people, some of them, you know, for burials, randomly, you know. We're having difficulty so hearing you, Lucinda. It's kind of, it's breaking out. I think she was trying to say that they, I didn't get her, but I thought she said something about reaching finding, out reaching out to family. So, um. For money or something like that. So, um, my, here, when it comes to people um, asking for things, I, I think that I, you know, we all have different upbringing. I think it has to do with how you've been brought up. Because no matter how tough things are, you, you, my default would be I would find a way, like create a solution, create a product, just find a solution, not ask someone <coughs> for that thing. Especially someone I don't have any relationship with. And I think we should speak against that. You shouldn't walk to somebody that you don't know in any form to ask for something. And here's what my, my opinion is, and it might be pride or arrogance. I know you, for, if you know you are a resource person, I know that you are, you are on, a, on a journey towards greatness. You don't want someone to feel like there was this story about you, how you were begging for money everywhere. God can lift anybody. I think that we should talk about building relationships so that when you have a need, you have somebody to reach out to. Hmm. Because there's no human being that does not have a need. Yeah, yeah. We all do. Every human being. <laughs> At some point in time, there'll be someone you will have a need. And if you have a need, you should have somebody around you that knows you and cares enough about you 
that will be able to support you in that time of need. Then you too don't make it a habit to always be in need that you now need somebody mm. and they will now see you and see that this yeah. person is asking for money. That's one. Another part that is very important is when people come and ask for things from me, I, like um, many people, any person, everybody here I know has a charity budget ish. Yeah. Conscious and the ones that you just do as the spirit leads. Yeah. Because I have met so many people that are commercial beggars, and we must admit that there are people that are in, this is their industry. Like I have work that I'm doing now. For some people, their job is to beg. They wake up in the morning, dress up, and they go out on the streets, and they beg, and they have a target of how much they will make. And they go around and they do this. That's their source of work. I don't give people like that money. How do you know? If, to prevent that, I chose to do charity through my church that I know has been able to So they come and meet me and say, you want help? I'll tell you, come on Sunday to this address. They give food every Sunday. Right. And go and not food, eat all. They give bags every Sunday. Wow. And in church this Sunday, it was announced that, see, we need to get more because the number of people that come to collect food has increased. So I know now I will do through that channel. Okay. Some people support Kokun Foundation because they know yeah. Kokun does food. But if you are someone that goes into DM to ask for money, I would not listen to you because my idea is you don't know me. You would have sent to everyone, and it has happened before. The, the person sent to all of us. Yeah. Right. And I know two people are giving money to that person. Yeah. So you need 100,000, you send to 50 people, you have got 500,000 error. Yeah. That's me, I'm oh, struggling yeah, to make it. Make. Let me take this call from. Good morning, thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning. You're live, go ahead, please. Okay, my name is Jandi Babas from Zara Kanyaski. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. It's hot, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. To me, you want to know you and you are located on social media like that. I won't respond. Mm. Actually, if if you really you need help, there are some kind of people that you can go straight forward and ask them. Within your family, you can have some that they are really want to assist anything that you want. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't see any reason that you will be asking people in, on social media for help people. Oh, I lost that, Mujid. You see, I wanted, I wanted to bring an angle, the fact that people beg because they need, and because sometimes, as I said earlier, when celebrities are celebrities, some people send a message or request or asking or begging celebrity and they get it done. And you have a friend who asked Davido for money or who asked somebody and Davido send them money. Mm -hmm. That's somebody's testimony. Mm -hmm. And I also want that same testimony. And that's why I'll send a DM also to Dave just in case I get it. So sometimes when, when you get this request, you don't have to respond to it, but you must, you must understand where that um, the person, the, 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 uh, the, where the man is, where the woman is coming right. from. You are talking of intention here. Yes, intention. Right? So yes. someone has made a legitimate request and the video or whoever yes. responds to the person. And the person, what the next person is doing is that he has seen a method exactly. of receiving money. So it's not a legitimate request. It's, mm -hmm. oh, so this is a method of reaching out to people and who knows who are my tribe. Exactly. So it's really about the intention. That's what, talking about giving and taking is quite hard because, you know, you're trying to um, differentiate asking and begging. Mm. Uh, for me, I, I just, I feel it's... I think begging is persistent. Asking is just one of... No, no, That's how no, you no, you can I like ask, the way my... You can, ask, you can ask persistently. Yes. Really, you can but ask persistently. You. And you know, a lot of people have used um, the Bible to yeah, do Yeah, God this. will bless you. Remember the I'm widow that blessed. stayed by the lawyer's house until she overpowered him with her asking. He listened to her and they said, ask and you, if, ask and you shall receive. And I've heard people even say this to me, that if you don't ask, you will never receive. Yeah. Yeah. But I was brought up to be told figure it out yourself you have to be that's why for someone to ask of you sometimes and especially there's some sort of people i know for me i feel that for that <coughs> person to have asked that person has done all that they can, can and yeah, you know yeah. to come and ask. Like so genuine. I, yes but many people have just figured out that there's a system just throw out this thing to so 10 like, people yeah. who knows maybe two answer then there's arms you're asking for arms Arms, people that collect arms, they are not asking you for a specific amount. Mm -hmm. Whatever is within your heart or means, you drop it and they bless you and you go. And it's also a religious thing where when you give arms, you get blessings. So are you on the street with your arms collecting whatever they give you? If, is that who you are? But there are some people that we know that they have turned this into a business yeah. where they just want to see who... Yeah. It's yeah. vulnerable. So, 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 it's, 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 let's, let's, you know, we like um, defining beggars. Mm. We always define it in our own way and our own understanding. Mm. 
according to the English dictionary, ask is to look for an answer to a question by speaking. While beg is to request the help of someone, often in the form of money. So there's you. no ask in this matter. No, I can it's ask. Or beg. Can, please, can you give me, like, can, can, can you help me with my school, my children's school? So if you ask, you can ask, ask for a loan, but you cannot beg for a loan. That's beg. Yes, you can. Uh, hey. Ask for a loan. So, no, so be, be, uh, but that is, ask, what, no, you ask for a loan, but you can in beg English for language, everybody, everybody beg. is beg. We just try to make ask seem like it's higher than ask is question. Yeah, you do what we're doing now. You ask me, I answer. You ask us, we answer. That's I can ask you for a loan, just like you said. I can ask you. I can ask you. It's a question. That's a loan. That's a loan. Hey, but if you ask, if you beg, beg me, me for that, <laughs> beg for that. that, are you able to help? Okay, are you able, yeah. able to that's, pay that's for my ask. school fees? Yes, that's are you different. able to pay for my school fees? That's different. That's question. But if you beg me for Miss, money, no. Okay, so, so we are, you know, so we are doing an, we are, it's, it's an education less because we're teaching people. Yes, yes, yes. people. For people right now that they, they are watching all their life, they've always known that if I need money, I will find one uncle that I will ask, that will give me. Mm. I will go and beg this uncle, I will beg this auntie. Ah, when I was in school, I was enjoying. My brother, my sister, this one, they will send me money. So that's the mindset. So even as they become adults, they are still always looking for somebody to buy me a phone. Out. This one to buy me this one. I want a shoe. Buy for me. Somebody they are always collecting phone. from people. That's your habit. Mm -hmm. That is a bad habit. habit. Go and work. We must talk about that. Establish that. Let me pause one. you for a second, please. Lucinda is back from the UK. Good morning, Lucinda. Hopefully we can hear her now. Good morning, Lucinda. Good morning. Good okay. morning, how are you? Love you very much, the whole panel. Now, uh, I, my point is, at the time when, uh, during the uh, lack of money, you know, people were using POS, I sent money to everybody, even the workers who work for me. Okay. Now, they had a real need of warriors sometimes, but they took, they took advantage of that. Now, Every time they broke, oh, mama, can you send us this? I want to do this. I want to do the other. No, UK is going through a lot as well. We are really, really, we are feeling the same as well somehow. And so somebody to come and give you at least thirty pound yeah. is coming out of the budget of the whole. Yeah, exactly. So they shouldn't do that. People That's should taking advantage. should try, to try the best to see. But you know, they are able to um, pay for themselves. If it's a child, if it's a mother, single mother, she's having problems with children going to school to eat, yeah, we can understand that. But all in all, Mario, you should form a foundation, foundation as such, where we can put our resources. And then you deal uh, the best people to give Yeah, it yeah. To. thank you, Lucinda. And I mean, think Thank you, Lucinda. That's something I've always thought about because we get these requests all the time. There's got to be a structure to this giving. Mm -hmm. They've put a foundation together that can actually help and support because they will, the requests will always come. So some I will be legitimate this. and some that's will be I just said, taken advantage. You, in, for me, I have a religious body. My church does this. They give food, they give clothes on a weekly basis. At a point, they reduce it to two times in a month. I know Koku Foundation does the same thing as well. People do use their platform to give. And we must start supporting those kind of... Because it's not what they want to. We want you to give them money. So, let me explain. Let me explain another thing. To pay so, their I, I, I discussed with someone. My children, we, we, my children are going to secondary school. The school we are going into was made based on choice of finance. We did exams in two schools. Mm. When I got the bill for the first school, I could have forced myself and say, I'm going to do this. Yeah. But I looked at my, the budget and I'm like, I'm not going to put my, children, my, my kids in this school. I will now be forced every time. I will never have to beg. Yeah. But I don't want to inconvenience myself or put our family into financial strain. Yeah. So if you, are in, if you are in a school that you cannot afford to pay for, then you will go choose a school that you can afford oh. to pay for, not beg someone for money to pay for that school fees per time. Okay, then building relationships. Afford any school at all? There's public school. Now let's you remove. It. No, you my BC. I'm talking BC, about experience. No, no calm down BC. Now. Ah, you let's, might think so in no. those public schools. Oh, mm -mm. Let me put it. Let's see. Begging is a choice that we choose to make. I know. And when we, when we talk about uh, making those choices, is that we feel like they, they, they are better off than me and they should be helping me. But like I said, I didn't want to, it's not pointing fingers to anybody. I'm, we're teaching because some people don't know better. Well, so me. first is that um, don't, don't beg. Find a way to solve a problem for that person. Two, build relationships. There are yeah. interns in this office that have gone through here yeah. that if they call me that they need money for balancing their school fees, 
I will not blink. Yeah. It might cost me. I might ask my husband. I will support, support them. Yeah. Because when they were interns just in TVC and they spent three months or six months, the quality of relationships they built, yeah. everybody knew them. Yeah. Everybody liked them. Even beyond the department they were assigned to work. Yeah. And they probably maintained that relationship even after then. Right. But you have lived your life till 35 and you don't know anybody that you know that cares about, about you about enough you. that will help you. You have a problem. It's not me. Mm -hmm. ah, so, so let us deal with the yeah, issue. So, yes, so, deep, so, yes. Yeah. It, it's deep and I understand. But I have seen situations where life battered people. Mm. So this is not because they want to be beggars. They will present they have handwork. But because of the location of you know, where they are, they are not able to put it to use right. or there are no customers who would patronize, you know, that kind of thing. I've seen those very dire situations and it, was, it wasn't something I could remove my face from because I did not understand. So I had those conversations. It was as bad as we cannot, in fact, they've sent these kids away from school. Mm. I have to take them to my mother. I don't even have money to register them to a public school. So there are very deep situations yeah. that yeah. somehow you just have that milk of human kindness and say, okay, um, what can I do to ensure that these children stay in school while mm. you start doing something so that subsequently you're not coming back to me all the time? So, when you come so back they're all different. The time no, no, hold on. No, so far, so good. This person has not come no, back. That's, right? That's this person is a genuine. specific one. Yes, Majority but, come back. Yeah, but, I wish Nima can call Nima. So Nima will tell you cancel. stories. Hold on now. Nima will tell cancel. you stories. Allow me to. Ah, let's not okay. cancel everybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? They are. Yeah, they are unique situations. That is where your intuition and the gift of the Holy Spirit will help you to discern. This person coming to me genuinely, yeah. and if it's laid in your heart to help, please help. I, if these ones are thieves, if you trust your intuition so yeah. bad, if they hurt you one time, two times, you will sift them out. But let's not invalidate the fact that some people actually genuinely need this Absolutely. help, and they don't have anybody in their community. Nobody in their family is even big enough, small, to even help them. Maybe they are yeah. all on the same level, all struggling one way or the other. Okay. Let's not cancel them out. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Tunde, calling from the UK. You're live. Thanks for calling. Um, good morning. Good morning. Um, please, I just want to add um, my voice to what you're discussing. Um, am I allowed to probably start with your earlier discussion this Absolutely. morning? Absolutely. It's your view. Let it count. Okay. Um, in terms of the language, I think language is very essential for development. And in case of Nigeria, the first thing I think to do is to repartition the country along ethnic and language lines. Okay. Because doing this will facilitate the And it's, it's going to come with its own benefits and disbenefits like any other um, change. Yeah. A change comes with benefits and with benefits or disbenefits. Yeah. For the Southwest, it is easier because we have everybody speaking the same language. Mm -hmm. um, the Yoruba in Kwaira will probably be ceded to the Southwest. Mm. And um, the Southeast, it, it, in some parts of Koji and some Koji, I think Benue, um, and the South, South, we have Igbo speaking people. Mm. They go to, this, to the Igbo side of things. And we're going to have. A, a multicultural environment in the north. But if I, my knowledge of the north is what I think it is, there's an established Ligra Franca already in the north, which is Aousa. Thank you very much, Sunday. Um, thank you for sharing your views. I lost my train of thoughts on what I was going to say, but go Please. ahead. So, um, when I'm not, like I said, it's not, a, it's not judging or casting as person. Like I said, I, I, I kept repeating, it is a let us learn. You know what I'm saying we're learning is because um, there are places where you serve in church. There are churches, most churches where you serve. Somebody is serving there and you face challenges. You know you can call someone in church <clears throat> that will be able to do what? Help you out. Right. And because you have displayed diligence in some form of way, you have built relationships. The real lesson for me is... We, we, and I know that life can happen to everybody. Yeah. Be, because my, my mom said one time, she, was, she called me, she was like, uh -uh, the way you shared my, uh, my story is like, you, think, you made it look like we we're always poor. No, but we had a time when she was duped of a whole lot of money and we had major challenge. It was not a, she did not yeah. think of begging anybody. Yeah. It was a case of we would drink our gari and pray that God would send, money, send food to us. Harder. And somebody just voluntarily just came in and brought rice and tomato paste for us. That, and that was God showing up. Mm -hmm. And 
Sometimes you build relationship with somebody that can help you. That's another side. What I wanted, to, another thing I wanted to say, because we know there are genuine people that have needs, and um, you help them, and then it becomes a revolving circle where they keep coming yeah. back. You yeah. pay the rent for the first year, rent for second year. You are now paying the school fees yeah. for their children, first child, second child, third yeah. child. Yeah. But that's what, so I have that's what the caller yeah. said, Lucinda, yeah. where she understood at the time when we were having the cra ca cash, cash crunch, crunch. Yes. and she was helping. But eventually, they figured out a system, and they were asking her for everything, everything and everything, in spite of what they are going through right now. Yeah. And that's what we're focusing on. So I'm happy that you highlighted that, but you know, that's not the focus today. We're talking of people who have Career turned beggars. begging mm -hmm. into a lifestyle, mm -hmm. I mean, and without genuine... Um, um, reason for yeah. the begging only for them to just get where, well, what they can get from anyone that they can get. There was a lady I had to block. Somebody that I mean, I used she used to uh, I used to work with her in the past, and she life happened to her. And obviously, I even remember the other story. Myself and YK actually, um, I decided to help a lady. If you remember the that a gunshot wound, I think something. Yeah. Like, you know, so YK took one child, I took the other child, and we paid the person's school fees till they finished the, 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 the school. And after that, the lady left us. Because she appreciated back. that, okay, you that guys are handy. That was about. what she wanted. And I respect, if she calls me tomorrow now, I ask me one, I will give her because I know that she had tried to make a life of herself. Because after the school fees, she wrote me a long message, morale, my son has graduated, congrats, thank you very much. And I was happy, and they moved out with their life. Yeah. That kind of genuine situation, absolutely. Yeah. Now, there was but another if person. If you didn't give, you wouldn't have known. No, 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 what, what I'm saying is that, yeah, so there's the genuine help, you wouldn't giving. Have known. Yes. But somebody will take advantage of that. Yes. After can graduation, someone, someone back. Good. Yeah. Can I you ask know, something? someone like that also, yes. there are people like that. You have decided this is what I want to help with. But then they'll ask you for we tomato. Need money for, yes. They'll ask you for, they, not yes. they'll ask you for, Extra. ah, you know, a relative of ours passed on and it is important for me to visit. And you're thinking, yes, yeah, I've helped. Or some, you want to pay the school fees, they will tell you pay it to my own account. Sometimes if you don't help, you won't know, right? But the idea is do not enable them yeah hmm. so when they come the first time and maybe the spirit said help and you help and they come back you tell them no yeah. you must learn to say no and yeah. that's why a lot of us get into problems let me read YK's. Yeah, no. I wanted to, okay. i'll take one and you tell somebody to take another one okay. so yk says two things there was one handed beggar i used to give money and decided to give him a job as a security man uh, anyway. he left the job after one or two months wow. saying he made more money from begging and relocated to Ibadan, so I would not see him on the road. Mm. Good. And yeah, she, she also sent this message. She says, last week a girl came to me, said she wanted to dance. I auditioned her and she couldn't dance. She said she was just coming right. from Kogi. She had nowhere to stay, wanted to follow me home. Bye. I said I had no space. She said she needs a place for her family in Kogi. I said I would look for a job for her. I gave her 2K and said it wasn't enough. She needed 21 million naira. Like <laughs> I said, if I have 21 million, I have to give you. I will not you give myself. Right. Right. <laughs> As in? 21 million. I'm saying. So, you know, we've not talked about the other side of this part. We have, we have to wrap up. Yeah. Because ah. people see us and they just think, ah, government came, to, government came to their show. Some you people have, have asked. Giving them all the money. Me, eh? they, will break it, they will break it down how I should do it. Break it down. If it's a yes, house, they're about to blocks will cost this, this will cost this, this will cost this, this will cost this. Yes, send so you yes. send it to this account in this so 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 way. I'm telling you. And so. they called me to give them to let them. They want to meet the governor. Somebody yes, told me I want to meet the governor. Please help me. I said your governor I came to your show. I need a job. I met the governor. Uh -uh. Maybe I took to picture. Show. I took picture with the governor of Lagos <laughs> State. Don't so I have his exactly. personal number and I call him every wow. morning. We are eating breakfast now together. Paddies. Yes. <laughs> so I should give you a job. Uh, I'm a, let me push this something. Somebody sent me a proposal. I've been trying to get the governor to see this thing. And me that ordinary MC event with the president. Suddenly, yeah, I get the president. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are yeah. going to send the proposal. Come People on, know man, why, guys. But there's one. We are, we are TV there's presenters. one yeah. case that I am looking at, and that we have to wrap up. Wrap is my heart. I yeah. just wish that there was something. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't take that story right now. Let's all we can take on today's show. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We did. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>
doesn't believe that.